Hi, my name is John Whitehead and I'm an executive and leadership coach. Welcome to this week's version of my video blog post. Each week I bring to this uh, platform a subject from a number of inspirations. One of those is from my work with my coach it, client, coaching clients that I do one-on-one -on -one with senior and emerging leaders in organizations and some entrepreneurs as well. I also uh, find inspiration for my topics from the class I teach at the University of British Columbia and the Faculty of Management. These are fourth year students and I really enjoy the dialogue and the conversations that I have with them every week. This past week, for example, we, have been, we talked about the importance of having a vision. What does it mean for leaders to have a vision, to be visionary? What impact does that have on the organization? And one of the texts that we're using for the course is Kuzas and Parsons, The Leadership Challenge. And they define vision as uh, an ideal and unique image of the future for the common good. Okay, I'm going to say that again. A vision is an ideal and unique image of the future for the common good. Now, each one of those words has a specific meaning and it was uh, I asked the students how what that spoke to them what that said to them when they reflected on that and of course the future piece was one of the pieces that stood out for them that there is a requirement to look ahead that uh, the unique message they need to have something that will grab their attention something that will uh, take hold of them so what, one of the things I did in the class was I showed the I Have a Dream speech by Martin Luther King. Now, it's not just a little snippet of I Have a Dream, which most people have see and most people go to right away, but it was the full uh, 18, 20 minute speech that MLK gave on that day on the steps of the Lincoln Memorial in 1963. And in totality, it's an incredibly moving speech and if you haven't had a chance to see the full piece before go back and take a look because it really shows how he was able to scripted take the audience through number of steps and how he uses different cadence and he uses different speeds and the illustrations that he uses in that speech to bring people along and how he is inclusive how he brings the white audience that were in that space in front of the, on, on the mall in Washington, how he brings them into the conversation as well. I think something like a third of the audience at the time were actually non-black people. So he was attracting a lot, a lot of people to that speech. The I, it's interesting when you watch it too, the other piece I pointed out is the first 10, 15 minutes or so are scripted. Then he goes off script and that's the I have a dream piece. The I have a dream piece was actually an unscripted piece. It was a piece that he threw in at the, at the last, in the last hours uh, on the advice of somebody else. And that's the piece we remember. And why is that? I think it's because it was so passionate. He was speaking from the heart. He's looking up. He wasn't reading off of the script. So he was able to bring his idea, his vision of what he foresee America at that time could become. So as a leader, how do you bring your vision? How do you bring your idea of what your organization wants to be? How do you present that? And are you taking the opportunity to present that as many times as you can. I had a client once that we were talking of, about vision. And I said to him, you know, when you and I are talking about your ideal for your organization, you show your passion, your eyes light up. You, you, you can see how passionate and how important this is to you. Do you do that with your staff? And he thought for a moment, he says, actually I'm not. And so we talked about how he could do that, how he could start implementing that. So think about this. How are you presenting the, your vision for your organization? And I guess, first of all, do you have a vision for your organization? Because maybe that's an area you need to be working on.
But I'm going to make some assumption here that you have an idea, you're passionate, you know where you want to take your organization. If it's a large organization, if it's just yourself like me in my own consulting coaching role, how are you putting that forward? Think about that. And if you've got some ideas and thoughts, please add them to the comment section below. And thank you very much again for listening this week. And uh, hopefully we'll, we'll talk to you again next week. Have a great week.